Did everybody make good decisions today? Did we make a chart? Do we decide which decision is better? It's important for me that you are successful. And we're going to make the decision that you matter. I am here to help kids decide, um, I, I guess in a, to a very small degree, decide where their life is going. Um, if their life is staying in Junction City, how does that look? If your life is leaving Junction City, how does that look? I would, and I would say that that's mostly the job of education is to you know, get them to think critically on whatever level it might be, be it math, science, English, or a decision-making process that's in a ninth grade success class. And you end up with you know, understanding a little bit better what is possible for the process rather than cross my fingers and hope that I get it right type of response. I have these team kids for four years, so can I take the information that I taught them last trimester and utilize it every single trimester for the next four years? If we're all using consistent language, then the kids can't help but be successful. Let's take a look at what's going on with why are we deciding to do related to grades, what's going on in class, why are you know, you're choosing this, what's, you know, what's your frame of mind, what's, what's going on? And then they'll be able to see that, oh, this is the same, yeah, and I'll say, yeah, it's the same stuff. And I'm gonna keep hitting you with it until you decide to take charge of the decisions. Once you know how to do it, that's what I'm looking for. I do know that for prior classes of freshmen, they lost out because they didn't have this experience. And now, all of these kids, and I know we've said this a, a few times, but all of these kids now have a better relationship with at least one teacher on campus. And making decisions is not just about school. So if we can help them with that, then it helps our community, it helps these kids in the future, it helps their success in college.